Before I jump into the code, I'm just going to quick show you uh, a working application. Here I have the SAP login, which we will do in this tutorial. So a quick login. Once I click submit, it's going to authenticate me. And I'll be able to select between uh, two applications. I'm going to go to the employee directory. And once I get here, it will return the list of employees that you saw when we tested our SAP Gateway service. Now, I'm using jQuery mobile here so I can actually filter these. If I delete this filter, we get the entire list again. And once I click on one of these employees, I'm then presented with more information about the specific employee. So again, all this data is coming from SAP Gateway via the service we created in the last tutorial. I also had a little add to context button and what this is doing is calling a JavaScript function uh, that uh, calls a part of phone gap that gives us the ability to add these contacts to the contact uh, directory of this phone. So if we go back out into uh, this device and click on contacts, you'll see that uh, this list is currently empty. Uh, now if we jump back into our application and click that button, so bear with me, this emulator is a tad slow, but we'll give it a try to jump this as fast as we can. All right, we're back. Uh, we'll click Add to Contacts. All right, so we get the success message. Now let's jump back and see if it actually worked. All right, so now you see we have an actual employee added to our contacts with the uh, address uh, that we pulled from SAP. So very cool. So we're not going to do that today. We're going to first uh, create a simpler application. And so we're going to have the SAP login, and then we're going to retrieve that list of employees. And then future tutorials will add on uh, functionality like adding to contacts or scanning a badge using the phone camera to pull inf employee information, etc. So let's let's get into it. All right. So I'm going to open up Eclipse. I'm going to start uh, with a brand new directory. So we can start from scratch. And I uh, have to assume that you guys already have the SDK, Android SDK installed, along with the working uh, virtual device. If you do not, you can go to um, my YouTube page, youtube.com slash webprofessor, go to playlists, uh, find the mobile development playlist. It's the very first video. You click that phone gap Android tutorial, and it'll show you how to set, set up Eclipse properly to get to the point you need to be. All right, before we go any further, let's download PhoneGap. So go to PhoneGap.com and click Download PhoneGap. Download the latest version. All right, once that's downloaded and extracted, we're going to go to File, New, Project. We're going to drop down Android and select Android Project from Existing Code. Select Next. We're going to browse and try to find that uh, PhoneGap folder. And we'll go into Library. And you'll see we have all the different device types, and we're using Android, so we'll go into this folder, find the example folder, and that's exactly what we want. We'll click Open. You'll see it found the Cordova example uh, project. We're going to select uh, add, Copy Projects into Workplace, and click Finish. All right. So now let's test this guy. If you right-click on the project, go Run as Android Application. If your virtual device is working all right, this uh, should run the sample project. All right, let's give us a try. Unlock our screen here. I was hoping it already magically opened the app for us, but if not, we can always go in there and find it ourselves. There she is. All right, so this is telling us that our device is ready. Now, uh, let's uh, add our gateway code. So uh, I just jumped into the assets folder, and then when that, this is the space that we're gonna uh, pay most of the attention. So this index file right here, if we double click on that, you'll see that that's exactly what's loading when we open our application. So this is what we want to change. So what we wanna do is, cause we're gonna use some of my code. Uh, if you go to github.com slash webprofessor, You'll find my GitHub, GitHub profile. If you go into this repository, SAP Gateway uh, PhoneGap, you'll find uh, a bunch of related files. The one we're going to want 
is the index file and the base64 file. So if you <coughs> download that, let me open that guy up. We can just copy this file into our uh, www folder. We want to make sure we do copy that. And yes, overwrite. All right. And now we also want to add the base64 file. This does some uh, encoding for our logon. Okay. All right. So let's jump into that index file. So right click, open with text editor. In this index file, you'll see that I'm calling uh, the Cordova JavaScript file, base64, which we just copied in there, and also jQuery mobile. And I'm referencing uh, as my source the actual uh, uh, HTTP location. So you probably would want to copy and paste the actual file into uh, your JavaScript folder kind of just cheating right there still works uh, we have a couple functions for uh, uh, authentication we have our get people function that requires the parameters uh, username and password and you'll see right here we are opening uh, via get our uh, gateway service and then we're parsing the JavaScript uh, the JSON And then we have a, a for loop. And it's going to go through every different uh, every user that it gets to that response. It's going to append a list item to our. If you scroll down here, and our if we go to page one, ID of one, it's going to append that right in here. I count out a couple of rows if you want to. Um, manually uh, add some rows uh, before that uh, is appended there you can do that as well but I again I comment that out so let's give that a test if you do want to know you know you know how this uh, pa these pages are set up for jQuery mobile you, know, you can literally just go to um, Google jQuery mobile so this is jQueryMobile.com and you go to documents and it gives you the ability to kind of demo some of this stuff. So pages and dialogues. And if you go to multi-page template, you can see there's multiple pages. This is exactly what I'm doing. Just uh, view the source of this page, and you can see exactly uh, how to create these pages. So uh, what you see in my code should be very similar to uh, what you'll find at jQueryMobile.com. All right, so let's test that. Uh, first time we tested this, we went to uh, right-click our project. Went run as uh, Android application. I want to make sure the right virtual device is running. You can see I have a couple different versions here, with the newest one being 4.1.2 uh, of the platform, the API level 16. I'm going to give that guy a start. Launch that. All right, so sign in, submit, which is going to call get people, and there's our list of people. Awesome. If you did want to double check that, uh, we can go into our REST again and call that same service. And See, we're getting the same results here as we did there. So Tom Brady being the first, and the second being Samantha Smith, or Smith Samantha. Awesome. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Also, if any of these tutorials have helped you out in one of your projects, please consider a small donation. Until next time, cheers.